Hi, this is Danny. Today I'd like to talk about a simple exercise that falls nicely into the category of daily life on the Restore Your Body program. It's how to get up and down from the ground. So you might be gardening or cleaning or just getting up from the floor. If your knees are pretty good, your back's pretty good, this is easy to do. But let's also do it in a way that's going to look after your body long term. So you're not just, just going down too heavy and compressing the body that we use some of the basic movement concepts from Aston Kinetics. Now you know, probably from previous videos, when we do a squat or a lunge, that when we talk about that the feet not being parallel, that the left foot's turning out, if this is 12 o'clock, it's about 11.30, right foot's about 12.30. And when you've got that slight turnout, how we would push off for a balance, for a squat, for a lunge, etc. It's the same philosophy with this exercise. So I'll just show you here, and then we'll join in together in a moment. So my left leg is forwards, and my foot's turning out slightly. And I'm going to rotate towards that. And there's a nice connection to the ground. I'm even going to dip the knee slightly to give me that push off. My hip hinges a little bit, the knee softens, and there's that length and space in the body right there. And that's the beginning of going up before going down. Same to a turn, you come forwards and push the ground away to help you back. When you join in, if your knee's a bit tight today, you're not sure about your back, by all means have a chair or a table to give you that extra push off. Now I've got three contact points, left foot, right hand, and that right foot also, that foot there is quite act active to bring me back up. Okay, let's try this. So if left leg is leading, let's just do the basics, rotate, come forwards, it kind of seems elaborate just to get up and down, but it's a very efficient way of moving. It's going to really help to look after your body. Now and in the long run. So let's practice a little push off where your right foot actually clears the ground. And there's this essence of coming forwards. Now as you come forwards, you're going to get ready to lower to the ground this time. Come up, got that nice hip hinge, you just ease down. Now remember the chair might be by you if you need it. Careful of coming straight up and making it hard work. Come forwards, even push on that leg to come up. Let's try that again. Left leg's forward, push down. You start to sink down and there you are. Nice alignment, nice and relaxed. Come forwards, that foot catches you. The right foot's there as well. I'm using these calf muscles and foot muscles to help as I come up. This becomes less elaborate as you get better at it. It just simply come forwards to lower, come forwards to raise. Let's try the other side. Again, adjust the chair or table if you need to. Right leg is leading, just initially have that slight turn out of your foot. Let your body rotate. Little give at the knee that you have something to push off from. This puts the space in your joints. And then from that nice roomy space, we'll sink down to lower. You can pause for a moment, got the foot, got the front foot, come forwards to come up. And it becomes less obvious as you get used to this. It's a great toning exercise. We're working glutes and quads here. You get down, then you might come down, then you're doing your weeding or whatever you're doing, and then you come forwards to come up. Okay, so that's a great exercise to practice for your leg tone, but more importantly, just for daily life. Whenever you need to get down, just think. Put the space in your, in your joints, ankle, knee, hip. Everything gets space. Put the length. Come forwards to make your way down. And the same when you come back. Forwards to come up. Okay, brilliant. Thanks for joining in today. If you have enjoyed the video, please share it with your friends. We'll see you online again soon.